Alright, dickhead, what are you doing? What do you do? What does he do? That's it. <laughs> that is called a hard counter. There has to be a reason to stop you being there. And apparently there has there's no other option other than the ground spray. Which is good because it gives you an opportunity to hit its legs and get out, but that's probably got massive radius. It might not be quite the ancient dragon, but it's still pretty rough. Although there's a definitive blind spot. That's one thing. I defiantly know. Why do people do that? How do you understand defiance, but you don't understand definitely? Or the difference in the two? It's a very strange one, that. It's like Pacific. Do you talk about everything oceanically? Like, what the fuck? Google this shit, guys. It's easy. And that's coming from someone who has, you know, questionable punctuation. Yeah, that hit me too. Thanks. I'm the type of person who uses apostrophes. Well, I sometimes use them quite liberally on, on strange S words where do you do it in front, do you do it behind, you know? Uh, but, like, when it comes to commas, I am a creative user of comma. Sometimes I'll just put a breath in there for the laugh, you know? Why not? It makes it look sweet. Makes it look aesthetically pleasing, even though it reads incorrectly. <laughs> but at the same time, I can acknowledge that I'm weak on that because I was never taught that. I was a bad kid in primary school, so when we were learning about English, I didn't learn a lot. Uh, everything I've learned has kind of been myself and the internet. But the part of English that I'm fascinated with is, is language, is the, the breadth and depth of things you can say and how you can say them. And I think that that's the bit that really interests me. I'm less interested in being mechanically sound at it, even though I wish I could. I just don't, you know. I've got all the answers on the internet sat next to me, and I could research it and get good at it, and I just... I watched Dancing Cats on YouTube instead. So, everybody has to better themselves in some ways, and that's what I need to do. But grammar's one of those things that... You know, it is tricky. It's tricky unless you're really good at it. And even then, the language is so complicated in its written form that there's a million different arguments for using certain things. And, you know, it's pretty... It's pretty awesome. Which is why I use language creatively instead of how it should be used. But then again, is there any real way language should be used? Isn't that the point of language? It's this constantly evolving thing. That is a reflection of the, the user? Who knows? Philosophy and boss fights. This is gonna kill me, this. I was lucky then. Alright. Right. Parry training 101. Fucking hell. Not like that. Not like this. Not like this. What about if he wants it to be like that? Ooh, he survived. And I got my roll afterwards. GG roll. That's his grab. Is that a partial? Is it an impartial? Was it a partial, impartial, partial? He got my roll! That has a mean hitbox, if that's true. I'm gonna slow that one down. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been instances where I've said incredulous things and been like, this is not fair or right or as it should be, and I've slowed it down to see whether or not it is. Sometimes I'm spot on, other times not so much. And I've, I've tried to be unbiased with it. The same thing I did with the whole, on Dark Souls 1, you can get a plus 10 weapon without killing a boss, which is not true. Because you need to kill bloody the Capra Demon to get to, into the depths. I don't think there's another way into the depths. Unless you come up, you go down Blight Town, you come up back through Blight Town, and you open the door from the other side. But I honestly don't know if you can do that. So, you might be able to do that, so that would be one way around it, which then makes my point correct. But I, I put a little joke in the video to show that 
um, one of the routes means that you have to kill Kappa Demon. But I don't think... I don't know if people will get it. I hope they do. It's obvious to me because I'm the one who uses it a lot. But other people might not associate him with what I did. So we'll, we'll see anyhow. There goes your lock on just in case you needed it. Get yourself fucked. There's the massive recovery when you're nowhere near it. Look at this. Optimum punishers. And I'm dead. I survived it. Do you know why I survived that, ladies and gentlemen? Because I didn't dodge. If I'd have dodged and he'd have caught me, I would have been killed with counter hit damage. But because I stood there like a Mongol, perfectly fine. There needs to be a discussion about that. And I don't know how you fix it. Because counter damage should be a thing. You should be punished for bad play. But at the same time, you should not be rewarded for no play at all. It engenders passivity. That's the breath, and I'm dead, I think. Very close. No! Aha! Ooh, that was close. This music is godlike, and I'm dead. The fucking camera is atrocious, dude, when you get close. The lock on in the camera make a romance of bad things. We know this, we need to now not get caught. But it's so easy to say that, and doing it is, is different. Get stunned, please. Thank you. This fight is so cool, though. It's such a fucking cool fight, minus that dash. You can suck a big, fat, meaty chudge with that dash, you bitch. That looked about close, but it was two-handed, and you can't really judge... Need to do rolling R2s for stuff like that. Oh, that was not. That was a different move anyway, again. He's doing the wind. So tough. This guy's got a lot of moves. Look at it! I don't like it. I like this, though. Because this has got a big punish gap on it. That could have been it. Oh! That was dead fair. That was very painful for me. Look at it! Oh, I hate those kind of attacks! It's just like that Scruffer with the wings, Osiris, when he dashes. And it's just, he has a massive truck-sized hurt box of doom. And if you're anywhere near it, even rolling, unless you're in those iframes, which apparently I wasn't, you are dead. And he has that, so I'm going to try running. I'm going to do a full sprint and see if it's got bad tracking, because if it doesn't, you need a perfect roll, and that perfect roll needs to be as close to perfect as it gets, and that's not easy to do when you don't know it's happening. Because he's got a couple moves he charges, they all kind of look similar. Motherfucker. I want to parry him. Please be parryable, dude. We need this. We really need it. Totally doable fight, though. I just suck. Whatever the second phase or that end phase is, that's going to be scary. Because if he gets any worse, it's going to be real trouble for us. And we've got big life, so we can't be like, oh, if, I, if only... What happened then? I saw its life. It's got 1,791 life. Which means it's only got 700 life left. <laughs> It must be said, though, was anybody else hoping for more fights like this? This is kind of what I was hoping Next Generation would bring. Super ridiculous fights of people on dragons and shit. That's exactly what I was wanting. Something just that wasn't possible on the last generation. For more reasons other than just, oh, it looks pretty. Oh, it's got really good lighting. Interesting. No second hit. I'll do it now because I'm close. No third hit. Get on your back, son. This music's so good. I love those keyboards. Very dramatic. 
That was horrible. It's slower than it looks, though. This is this is it. <sighs> Tried to dodge to the left. He's doing more. Fuck off. You great sucker wanker. Poke. I missed. Slash once, please. I don't know. Maybe we try the small shield. Maybe the small shield's a good idea. Slash once, please. No, not like that. Not like this. Not like this. Why do I do this? There it was. That trailing killer hurt box. But that was that different move. That was a, a different move. So I reckon this is going to be the last hurdle before the playthroughs end. Because the last boss is tough, but I've kind of got his number. Really punish him in that magic phase and then just destroy... Hopefully not get destroyed by him. The hardest part about him is understanding his moves because they're slow. And everything in this game has been fast up to that point. Let's try the buckler. It's got that kind of parry window. And you can really tell in this game, I think. Thirteen fifty that time. He's breathing. Yeah, you can punish that. If we walk over here. Does he continue? No. We just miss because the hit detection. Doing it again. So now we try to punish, and our spacing is bad. What is going on? This is strange. Ooh. That might not be the kill, but I think we can hit it afterwards, and it's definitely going to hurt. I didn't swing! This is new. Is it new? I've not seen it before. Okay, Gwynny Poo. Gwynny Poo! That I like. That should have killed me, really. Oof. I don't think two handed is the way to go, you know. Nice. Your Dragon Ball Z moves. Oh, folks. How is your Dark Souls 3 playthrough going? Is it coming up against brick walls of difficulty and destruction, or are you just smooth sailing? What areas were tough for you? You know, what bosses got your goat? Maybe none. Maybe you were just too good for the game. Imagine how good this would look in 60 frames per second. Maybe on the PlayStation 4.5. Which a lot of people have been asking me what I think about that. I think it's a terrible idea. I expressed it on Twitter. I'm not a big believer in this notion of 4K just yet. You know, people swiftly forget what DVD players were like and what Blu-ray players were like back when they first came out. They were nowhere, you know, only rich people had them, so it wasn't a universal standard in any of the entertainment industries yet. And 4K just isn't there yet. It's like high definition televisions before they were there. Now, you can't imagine a world without them, but before they were there, only the only the few had them. And it's doing this weird pattern. And don't get me wrong, I think when we get 4K televisions, and they are ubiquitous in the industry, uh, in, in households and everything, oh, that sucked. I think it'll be wonderful. I think everybody will be, wow, you know, this is the future. It's amazing. But I think we're about five years away from that, maybe longer. Because if you look at it, I had a CRT TV back when Call of Duty 4 came out, and Call of Duty 4 came out in what, 2007? I played on that for a long time until I managed to get a, a bigger TV and at that point 
lots of people had adopted high definition because that's what those consoles were kind of pushing but there was still a large percentage of people who didn't you know i've been to a lot of my girlfriend's friend's house and they've had brothers and like male friends and stuff who were gamers but not gamers like some folk you know not in the same league as say somebody like me and i don't mean that in ability i just mean that in, in passion and, and want like these are people who you know come home from the pub after a few beers or after work and have a few beers and, and might play for an hour and then do something else i might only totally play on weekends whatever you know i'm not trying to judge this in any way it's just that's the way they play that's how they ingest gaming and all of them, the one thing I've noticed is they all have uh, what I would call a crappy TV. Which, once again, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but it's a very small CRT, which is probably great for Smash Brothers Melee, but not so great for other things. Like, I can remember going to a dude's house and he had a PS2. I was just like, whoa, PS2, old school TV? This is kind of retro, dude. GG, friend. And he was a super nice guy, and we played Black. And I uh, showed him some stuff on it, because I used to be you know, really good at that game. And we had a, had a fun day. And then they put FIFA on, and I completely lost interest, because I haven't been interested in football games in a very long time. I'm dead. The worst looking armor don't like the heart, but that's just me. I'm fussy. You already knew this. You know, my playthroughs are not for everybody. Because they've got all everything from, you know, cursing, which some people don't like, to critiquing parts of the game I don't like, which everybody construes as just, you know, baseless cr complaining and whining, which at certain points it definitely is. But for the most... I always try to have a reason for why I'm saying things. It's just people want you to talk nice all the time. And I don't understand how anyone does that. I have a soul. Wonderful! It's such a fantastic game. I need to say nice things. You know, yesterday I thought of a, a snail. Great. Now I'm going to smack this dragon and get progressively angrier. It's not the, that, the optimum punish is to get inside of him. Get inside of him. Yeah, put your dick in him. <laughs> Stick a... Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Stick a damn bone in it. It's definitely an optimum punish, the old tampon stick. That is by far my favourite move to punish. Because it enables you to punish it really well. Come back here, son. Chug. One hand. Didn't come out. Too busy in an animation. <laughs> There's three hits to it. We know this because he did it before and he fucking killed us. And he can moderate how many hits there are. Oh, whoa, that was the wind move from that close. That's a free heal. Jesus. Yes, my child. Tell him off. He didn't swing! You notice that? I did. Because I'm a tit. He swung that time. I'm dead. There's holes. Just not the ones I want. Stab. Oh. Should have healed then. I don't think you can parry this guy. I know my timing's been crappy, but still, I think he might be a little too L MLG. That made no sound. That means if he was parryable, that would have probably been a parry. Potentially. Look at the recovery, bro. I'm still going to try, though. Why not? Oh, my God. 
That were almost as long as my dick. That's not fair. Couldn't dash in time. Oh, I didn't try my sprinting technique. The thing that scares me here is his life. That first phase, 100% amazing life. That's why it's really great. This phase, he's got life. No boss has had life except for the giant and that was a gimmick fight. So it kind of makes me think that maybe we're using the wrong weapon or the wrong strategy. I'm going to try to parry him again, but I get the feeling that this guy can't be parried. I want to be wrong though, because if you can, it's probably my favorite boss in the game. But the timing is really tricky because if you remember, I couldn't parry Pontiff for the life of me. But then we landed it and it was like, wow, this can work. So, that's what we do. We try to, to make it work. And the damage is fair with our life. I think we've... We, wait, you said 1,309 then. You see that? What's that about? I'm confused. I think the game's having pity on me and it's given the life of the dragon less. Less dragon life. There you go, buddy. Oh, come on. Swing it again? No. Sunlight Spear. You have to roll kind of early for that. Feels like. Just being a dick now. Nah. Just trying to fucking catch you off guard. That was a charge there too. He didn't follow up because we weren't close enough. Love this move. He's going to fall after that. Yeah. See you, buddy. In your eye! <laughs> Take that, Sean Connery. Copper wanker. Caught my roll. Maybe you have to roll it early. That was definitely not a parry. You know, it's how I keep trying to get the ones where he two hands it and it's really fucking dangerous. Again! You know, have you noticed this? It's never the one where he just kind of does a cheeky poke. I hate that move. That move is on my list. So, I don't think he can be parried. I've tried. I want to try sticking on a good lightning shield. This one. And maybe tanking some of those hits on the end phase. Can I still roll? Can I? Balls! 72. So, for The hat has to go. But fear not, we can pop on something else. Like the pirate. Like the poor part. The poor part's really good. <laughs> against the old lightning. There we go. We look kind of twatty, but it's good lightning defense. Let's go back to Fire Link. Because I just, I need a, a tiny break. Right. Let's pop a consumable. And let's see what we can do in upgrades. Can we put anything more into anything else to get anything different? What? Well, now that that task is concluded, what would you have me smith today? What did he do? Oh, I skipped it thinking you were going to say the same shit he said the entire game. Weapons and protection. Oh, that's a load of shit, dude. Ah, well met. Tis good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? I have no idea what we just missed out on, but it's frustrating as piss. That takes a slab. Gets really strong though. I might use it because air scaling and it's... That took all my fucking money? What? That took 4,000 odd pence? The bastards. 
I didn't realize this stuff was this expensive. All right. Let's use that one instead. Now I can do two. Hooray. So that can go max as well. It gets an A scaling, which makes it pretty damn good. That's still a piece of massive shit. Dookie Pie. I don't understand that. Some kind of quality katana. They'll both look like quality katanas. Which is maybe what they are. Maybe you've got to do, you know, 50 dex, 30 strength or something. There's a dragon tooth. Should put it on, see what it does. But I want to... I want to get more twinkling and I don't know how. I made this a bleed weapon. I don't know if it'll make it any good. Spend some chunks on it. Pretty be careful. Might also benefit from that consecutive attack ring. Yeah, she's still not selling good resources. I must have missed some of that Umbran Ash somewhere. Which is frustrating because I don't know where. That AR's 485. We can try that for a little while. What would the Kumo be? Four, four, four. That's the Chaos Blade, is it not? Three, four, six. That S scaling. I want to try that on him as well, on his dragon. See if I make it bleed. It'd be hilarious. He knows where to put us, back in the meat grinder. Do you know who we haven't killed? That Tarkus wannabe with the fume sword. When I checked the wiki the other day, it was hilarious. I saw his name and I clicked on it and they said, he doesn't do a lot of damage, but he has a lot of life and poise. Like, he doesn't do a lot of damage. I've never not been one-shot by that guy. <laughs> He doesn't do a lot of damage is a relative term, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a very relative term. Skateboarder! Whoa! Catch me now. Just need to get serious. Put his game face on and beat this boss. Just like that. Easy, right? missed for the speed and the stamina that it takes off you'd think it'd do a little more damage I would anyway because I'm fucking greedy that was a fully charged R2 <laughs> see if we can do this Gotta get better spacing. I want him to do the, the sunlight spear move. This one. There's the breath. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's an awkward move to hit. No third hit. Wow. 
You seem to have to roll that really early. If you don't, he just dunks you. We're not using this weapon, it's too slow. Maybe in the second phase, it'd be better, but... Considering how fucking slow it is, that should be ripping chunks. That should be 500, 600 damage, that. It shouldn't be the same as a katana. It doesn't make sense how, how a katana's two-handed charged R1 can be better than this is charged... Uh, R, sorry, R2. I want to try this. And while we're at it... don't know which that's the HP one so that is the one I want a super tiny blade damage and he didn't bleed yet we'll make him bleed I swear we will all considered though it wasn't the worst damage quite impressed actually I'm surprised that doesn't hurt you when he does that. The dunk. Nice. He bled! I didn't see the damage though, because I'm too busy uh, being surprised. That's terrible. It's doing a weird pattern here. That's what we wanted. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, I should have reposted. I get that now. Alright, pal. Did that, oh, it didn't kill me, but it sh perhaps should have. It did the good move, though. For getting away with murder. I need to top up twice. Interesting. I blocked it with the sim. Shouldn't have done that. Chop. Chop. You got me. Damn it. Too slow. I'm just too slow to dodge. I'm trying to get it just as he does it so I can do optimum dodges. And it, it's one of those things where if you don't do it right, you die. I kind of like this weapon, but I'm not getting opportunities to hit him enough. I was hoping... I could build momentum by dodge attacking, dodge attacking, dodge attacking, but this does the spinning attack, so I'd have to hold it off. But it was fun. Interesting to try. It can You can bleed the dragon, but can you bleed the guy at the end? You know, it's a completely different fella. Let's go washing pole. For a little while. If I can dodge that charge with a scimitar and it only takes off, what was that, maybe? One third of my life? That's a result. Because then I don't have to try risk dodging it and getting caught. And I can learn the timing on it when I've got bigger life. And I could just come here and, you know, chug away. Hello. 
doing different health value. 1993 that time. What the fuck's going on? I love this opening. Want him to do it again. Oh, I thought we might have been able to punish the dragon in that. Why did I let that hit me? I don't know. Maybe I just... I was just doomed to die. 